What the heck is going on guys? My name is Bucky Roberts and welcome to another awesome freaking tutorial. In this video series what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a sweet awesome epic footer using CSS. Now I want to teach this to you guys because first of all it's an awesome feature that you can add to your website and second of all I'm actually making a social network right now and I put this footer on it and everyone was like oh this is awesome how the heck do you create something like this so instead of you know answer everyone's post and you know go into a long explanation I figured it would be easier and better just to make you know a tutorial series so then everyone can learn how to make it and second of all like I said it's gonna be open source eventually so then you have a little bit better understanding of the code so let's go ahead and take a tour of it right now so what this is is it's basically a toolbar similar to Windows but the cool thing about this is first of all it looks awesome it's transparent and you have all sorts of cool menus First of all, you got home buttons, you got different drop-up menus that you can go, and um, this is actually for my social network. I have the stream and different messages, pictures, so I'm going to be creating this um, like I would for my social network, but you can actually use the knowledge to easily add it to any website. You just change a couple links and bam, you can use it for your website. So like I said, this is all your main account, your profile. And the cool thing about this is that usually whenever you have a drop down menu, you have something like this. It's just all links in a list. Well, with this, not only do you have an awesome transparent pop up, but you can also add headings to it, columns, um, you can have, you know, pictures in it. So it's much more than just, you know, uh, upside down drop down menu. Basically, you can have so much interactive crap. And the cool thing, you know I say there's a lot of cool things about this but on my um, social network what I have is the programs tab right here and whenever you click a program it actually opens up a new tab on the footer so this is probably like the greatest freaking footer of all time wait a second not even done yet over here I have my notifications so when someone you know likes your post or comments on your picture bam click that now you know like I said I'm not even gonna explain how awesome this is because clearly you know you can see so let's go ahead and jump into how to create something like this and by the way if you guys are like you know what let me just go ahead and download the source code because I'm gonna watch your tutorials but I also wanna see the source code and you know put it on my website see how it is right now all of the source code is gonna be available for download on my forum go to tnbforum.com and it's all there but anyways the first thing that you need to do is you need to go ahead and put an index HTML file and make a footer.css file so that's all this footer is it's all CSS and even though you see all this dynamic awesome stuff all of this is actually CSS and CSS3 no JavaScript whatsoever how freaking cool is that so let's go ahead and the first thing that you need to do like I said is create an HTML file and a CSS file now I'm actually gonna go ahead and create the very uh, basic shell of the HTML file first and what I'm gonna do is, uh, is I'm gonna create the shell for this and then create the CSS file and then come back here and add all of the HTML it's gonna make more sense that way so if you don't know what I'm talking about just follow along so an in index.html the first thing that we need is some housekeeping stuff doc type HTML HTML and HTML all the boring stuff gotta get that out of the way now speaking of boring stuff let's go ahead and head the add the head and the body might as well make the ending body tag body alright so now we have a very basic shell now the most important thing that we need to do is actually link to the CSS file so how do we do that well it's quite easy Let's just go ahead and put a link of course it's a style sheet and href for it is whatever you named your footer I just went ahead and named mine footer.css pretty self-explanatory footer dot CSS and of course the last thing that we need to do is put type 
what type is it basically telling your browser that you're going to be working with a CSS file and don't forget to uh, close your tag right there so now what we did is we basically created a very basic shell or HTML file that links to this footer.css file so of course we're not done working in here we need to add all the HTML elements for the footer but before I do that I think it's going to be easier if I actually show you guys exactly how to style this footer first because if I don't do that then I'm gonna be like okay let's go ahead and style or let's go ahead and add this list item and float it left and you're like, what whoa slow down slow down what the heck are you talking about so once I actually um, style everything in CSS and then implement it into the footer it's gonna make a lot more sense so now that I think about it, what I want to do is I'm going to be saving that for the next tutorial. So in the next tutorial, we're going to start styling the greatest footer of all time. So that's what you have to look forward to. And um, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video.